Hey, good morning. Um, we're going to cook some squirrels today. Um, when I'm not going to work or fishing in the morning, I, uh, I've been sitting out here on the porch drinking my coffee with my 22 rifle, thinning out some of the squirrels out here. But uh, this morning I've got some here. They're all cleaned and quartered up. I'm going to put them in this crock pot, put it on low. Um, I'm going to cover them with chicken broth and then I'm going to cook them, like I said, on low for six hours. Now I'll show y'all all this. And then, uh, but while we're waiting on that to cook, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the clips of my uh, backyard squirrel hunts. <laughs> and uh, then we'll get to the rest of the recipe. But y'all stick around, I think y'all might like this. Alright, y'all, so there it is. My uh, squirrels are covered. It took me about six cups. You can probably see all that salt and pepper and garlic in there I put. No certain measurement, just a taste. And I've got this on low for six hours, so we're just going to let it cook. Y'all check out these uh, little morning backyard hunts of mine. <laughs> One down. Got him. <laughs> Have a roommate with me. This is the best kind of squirrel hunting, ain't it? <laughs> Mama did good, didn't she? Man, this is service. Well, if we don't see any squirrels this morning. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Can't be a morning like this. <laughs> mm. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> He's sitting right in the fork. Well, it took a couple shots, but I got him. <laughs> he was a quick one. All right, y'all. It's been about five hours. It probably don't need checking on, but we're going to check on this squirrel anyway. It's got the whole house smelling good. We'll give it a little stir. Ooh. I'll steam up my camera if I ain't careful. Yeah, it's cooking up good. Now, if y'all's looking at that and thinking that ain't very pretty, well, I'm with you. But it's going to taste good. Now, squirrel, like most wild game, there's not a lot of fat content. 
And when they do put on their fat, it's usually on the outside of their muscle. There's not a lot of marveling in the meat. So it can be really tough. And, uh, you know, you got to cook it just right if you want it to be tender. And this is about the best way I've found to do squirrel, you know, for um, most of the ways I cook it. But, um, yeah, when it gets done here in another hour or so, we'll be able to pick it off the bone real easy. It'll be nice and tender. And, uh, man, y'all, it's going to be good, I'm telling you. It smells really good. But, uh, all right, I just want to do a quick check. We got another hour or so. So, uh, y'all don't run off. I'm getting excited. <laughs> you want to buy it? Get out of here, you little stinker. Well, that's proof enough for me that it's good. <laughs> she keeps running in here wanting bites. But uh, I've pulled this out of the crock pot now. I've let it cool. I am uh, picking the meat off the bones. And when you do this, you want to really take your time. Make sure you don't leave any bones in here. Especially when you got little kids eating it. But uh, here she comes again, acting like a puppy. Here, puppy. Pick it up. No, we're out. Get out of here. <laughs> but uh, like I said, you want to be real careful. No bones. Just take your time. We're going to uh, get this picked off the bone. I've got some crescents, crescent rolls, some uh, cheese, and some peppers and onions. We're going to stuff those crescent rolls with this squirrel meat, cheese, peppers, and onions. And then we're going to bake them. And uh, she's really going to like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to finish this up, and uh, we'll be right back with you. All right. I've got everything here to stuff my crescent rolls. I have crescent rolls. I like these little mini sweet peppers. I've got some of these chopped up here. I've got some yellow onion. Colby Jack cheese. And my squirrel. I've got my oven preheat, preheating, <laughs> preheating at 350. Um, I've got me a dish here sprayed with nonstick spray. And these are probably going to cook about 20-25 minutes. But uh, all right, I am uh, ready to start putting them together. All right, and I hadn't made these in a while, so y'all don't laugh at my crescent roll rolling skills. <laughs> There's your squirrel. Sorry, I had to open my cheese. I should have already had that done. But all right, there's my squirrel. And I'll throw a little onion in here. A little pepper. And put the cheese to it. Okay. Now. I'm gonna roll this up like this. It don't have to be real pretty. It just has to be good. Okay, that's gonna work right there. And you can spread this out a little bit. Make it a little bigger if you'd like. Let's do it again. Just put this little squirrel in there. Give it some pepper. Throw a little onion. I'm putting my onion fingers in that cheese bag, y'all. 
Somebody is not going to like that. More cheese for me. <laughs> All right, now we just close it up. Okay, this one's a little better than my first one. My first one was pretty rough. <laughs> Oh shoot. All right. All right, these are ready to go. Let's get them in this oven. I've been waiting on these all day. All right, about 20, 25 minutes. We'll be good to go. All right, y'all, just took these out of the oven. Look at that golden goodness. Sorry about the background noise, but it is uh, game two of the World Series tonight, so we're all into that. But we're going to let these cool off a little bit, and then we're going to give them a try. All right, y'all, they've been cooling for about 10 minutes. Time to give them a try. Looks good, don't it? good stuff and now I'm uh, cooking this squirrel in this crock pot we made it really tender I ended up going another hour I cooked it about seven hours on low but uh, this is this is awesome all right uh, Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, hit subscribe. Thanks again.